What is it? No, I was asking a question about the the topic. That's why. No, bring it up. No. What did you tell her? is not there. We are talking about uh, development, right? And uh, <coughs> the first aspect that we looked at was uh, develop the brain development. And we have been looking at the bio, psycho, social development perspective where we are saying when we are talking about development, there are these aspects that are involved in the development. But now, apart from what we know is uh, involved in development, we are saying, what is also, how does religion, culture, rest, as well as social economic status of a person contribute in the developmental process of a person? So, religion, one, we are going to start with uh, religion. How does religion play a part in the development process of a person? Or maybe the good question could be, can religion play a part in the developmental process when we are developing? When we are talking about development, don't forget the definition of development. We define the development. How can religion play a part in the developmental process of a, of a child? Okay, so from the time a person born is born to the time a person dies naturally, human beings travel through a developmental path that often uh, includes some degrees of religious influence. From the time you're born to the time you're born. I mean you die. There is that path whereby we are influenced in one way or the other by religious influences. And um, developmental psychologists have examined moral development in search of answers of how one's identity comes to be. And religion likely plays a large role in that process of most people. When we are growing up, we come to a place where we want to identify ourselves. This is now what is known as a tri identity crisis, where you want to define who you are. At this point, I don't know if you guys are still struggling with trying to define who you are in uh, the various places that you live in, whereby did you not have rocks on your head? <laughs> <laughs> he had rocks. Right? Yes. Is this part of identity crisis? <laughs> is this part of religious? Is this part of religious influence on development? Yes. But I think. Okay. I think he's going to help us. If, if you don't mind, what made you to cut your hair? If you don't mind, that is. Growing up. Growing up? <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything specific that influenced you to do that? Or you just felt like, I don't have, I don't need this anymore, let me cut my hair. Yeah, okay, actually, like, uh, I, had, I had some, I, okay, I was distinctive with some some teachers for me. Me, my friends told me you know they kind of they say I'm wrong. If you tell me that I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 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 I'
misidentity. Eh? They were thinking you were somebody else when you're not. Old. Oh, like for instance, I look at you and I'm like, hey, there is a lot of work that is supposed to be done here because of the rocks. No, you're different. I'm sure people will also handle you differently, but that's not the case. But the point is, <laughs> if I can take your example to what I am about to explain, we are saying the religious, I'm not saying you've cut your hair because of religious, whatever, but somehow, what made you to say, I need to be accepted, and therefore, if I have to be accepted, let me cut my hair. There is a religion influence underneath, whereby you want to identify yourself in some belief. When we are talking about religious, we are not talking about churches, but we are talking about that kind of belief that is going to push you to say, I need to do this if I am supposed to be this kind of a person. So, this this yearning in man of trying to have an identity we are saying most of the times it is influenced by a religious background so my question is is this part of growing up religious influence When one is um, 